हेलो एवरी वन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू पी एम नेटवर्किंग होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट गाइज टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू कन्फिगर आई पी वी सिक्स टनलिंग ओवर आई पी वी फोर हाउ टू कन्फिगर आई पी वी सिक्स टनलिंग ओवर आई पी वी फोर एज यू कैन सी इन दिस सिनारियो वी हैव टू साइड्स दिस इज साइड वन एंड दिस इज साइड टू इन साइड वन एंड साइड टू वी आर यूजिंग आई पी वी सिक्स एड्रेसिंग वी आर यूजिंग आई पी वी सिक्स एड्रेसिंग एंड बोथ साइड आर कनेक्टेड थ्रू पब्लिक नेटवर्क थ्रू आई एस पी एंड इन साइड द आई एस पी वी आर यूजिंग आई पी वी फोर नेटवर्क वी आर यूजिंग आई पी वी फोर एड्रेसिंग सो इन दिस सिनारियो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट टनल बिटवीन एज राउटर बिटवीन डॉटर वन एंड डॉटर टू देन यू नीड टू क्रिएट आई पी वी सिक्स टनलिंग देन यू नीड टू create ipv6 tunneling like ipv4 right ipv6 tunneling is also similar like ipv4 tunneling right so in this scenario what i am going to do between r1 and r2 i will create one ipv6 tunneling and after that we will advertise maybe we can run dynamic routing protocol or we can configure a static route to to see here uh, side 2 prefixes to with router number 1 and side 1 prefix to router number 2 fine okay but guys let's say suppose here we are not using ipv6 here you we are using ipv4 addressing then how tunneling will work how gre will work let's say here we are running 10.1.1.0/24 network here we are running 20.1.1.0/24 network right if 10.1.1.1 want to communicate with 20.1.1.1 user will generate traffic and that traffic will be encapsulated with ipv four header with ipv4 header and then user will forward traffic to router number 1 and router 1 need to forward traffic from tunnel interface so router 1 will you know add one my extra ip header with this ipv4 header right ipv4 header and then gre and after that router 1 will add one extra ip header right in the router ip header source ip address is going to be ip address of this interface my public ip address and destination ip address is going to be a uh, remote public ip address right this is how tunneling work in case of ipv4 in ipv4 tunneling but in this scenario if we are using ipv6 addressing in side 1 and side 2 when user will generate traffic you traffic will be encapsulated with ipv6 header with ipv6 header and then user will forward traffic to router number 1 and router 1 will encapsulate this actual message ipv6 header this is ipv6 header with gre and again after that router 1 will add one extra ipv4 header right inside this ipv4 header source ip address is going to be same uh, 15.1 and destination ip address is going to be 16.1 means remote public ip address source is going to be my public ip address and destination is going to be remote public ip address okay so we can see this also by capturing the link uh, between edge router and isp so we will capture the link guys but before that let me configure the scenario here we are going to configure this scenario from the scratch first i am going to configure ip addresses so let's begin from isp router you can see i have access of isp router router 1 router 2 and isp so let me configure ip on isp on isp router only we will configure ip addresses right i interface serial 2/0 senuset ip address 15.1.1.2255.255255. let's say 252 exit interface serial 2/1 say no set here also and ip address 16.1.1.2255.255255.252 done so ip interface brief exclude and assign here we can verify ip addresses you can see right now this interface line protocol is down let me check now serial 2/0 line protocol is down and serial 2/1 line protocol is up okay maybe this interface is down now i am going to close the console of isp because we don't need to configure anything on isp router so let me close it let's configure ip address on r1 interface serial 2/0 say no set and ip address is 15.1.1.1255.255255.252 exit on router number 2 interface serial 2/1 senoset and ip 
address 16.1.1.1.255.255.255.252 exit now let me check connectivity between my edge router and isp what we can do we can ping public ip address ping 15.1 ping 15.1.1.12 which is ip address of isp side this ip address is running on isp side yes i am able to ping from router number 2 also do ping 16.1.1.2 Yes, I am able to ping ISP. Okay, and these two public IP addresses should be reachable with each other. Like 15.1 should be able to communicate with 16.1. For that, we need to configure one default route on edge router towards ISP. So let me configure one default route here. IP route 0.0.0, 0.0.0, .0 and exit interface is serial 2 slash 0. Next stop IP address is 15.1.1.2. On router number 2 also, let me configure one default route. IP route 0.0.0.0.0.0 exit interface is serial 2 slash 1 and next stop IP address is 16.1.1.2 and now let me verify the connectivity between my public IP address and remote public IP address do ping 16.1.1.1 and we can say source 15.1.1.1 so you can see I am able to ping 16.1 from 15.1 that means the public reachability is there now we need to create tunnel before creating tunnel let me assign ip address on lan interface also on both router interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 say no set and ipv6 address 2001 colon db8 colon 10 double colon 1 slash 64 right say no set now we can verify I saw IPv6 interface brief brief so you can see on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 this is my IPv6 address right this is link local address and status is up line protocol is also up let me configure R2 also interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 say IPv6 address 2001 2001 colon db8 colon 20 double colon 1 slash 64 and say no set right so ipv6 interface brief exclude unassign so here you can see on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 this is my ipv6 address this is link local address line protocol is up status is up fine now we need to create tunnel we need to create tunnel ipv6 tunnel between r1 and r2 so let me con start configuring of configuration of tunnel from router number one say interface tunnel one then tunnel source tunnel source is going to be what 15.1.1.1 my public ip address tunnel destination is going to be what 16.1.1.1 remote public ip address after that on this tunnel interface we will configure one ipv6 address let's say on tunnel we are going to run this ipv6 network 192 double column slash 64 fine so ipv6 address 192 double colon 1 slash 64 fine and then tunnel mode ipv6 ip ipv6 into ipv4 so tunnel mode will be ipv6 into ipv v4 okay and that's it then go to r2 interface tunnel 1 say tunnel source is 16.1.16.1.1.1 tunnel destination 15.1.1.1 and then ipv6 address 192 double colon 2 slash 64 and then tunnel mode ipv6 into ipv4 fine now let me check routing table so ipv6 route so okay you can see this network is directly connected on tunnel one interface and uh, this network is connected on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 fine now we need to advertise prefixes so either what we can do first let me verify the connectivity uh, from router number one to router two through tunnel interface so i'm going to ping 192 double column 2 this ip address which is running on router number two from router one so yes I am able to ping that means tunnel is working fine and so IP v6 interface brief with the help of this command also we can check that tunnel status is up and line protocol is also up right this is link local address on tunnel interface and this is my IPv6 address right now 
I am going to configure a static route, right? So that we, so to inject, you know, side one prefix in the routing table of router two and side two prefix in the routing table of router one. And then we can configure a dynamic routing protocol also. So on R1, let me configure one route, IPv6 route, and then 2001 colon DB8 colon 20 double colon slash 64 and for this network exit interface is tunnel 1 this for this network exit interface is tunnel 1 in the same way on router number 2 also I am going to configure one static route for side 1 network IPv6 route 2001 colon db8 colon 10 double colon slash 64 and exit interface for this network is tunnel 1 and now we can see the routing table so ipv6 route inside the routing table yes we have one static route right this network and for this network exit interface is tunnel 1 in the same way on router number 1 also so ipv6 route we have one static route right this is network of site 2 okay and now we can verify the connectivity ping 2001 colon db8 colon 20 double colon 1 here we can say source is fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and you can see ping is working ping is working fine now how to configure dynamic routing protocol guys we can configure dynamic routing protocol also do so run and section route let me remove a static route configuration first say no to this command on router number 2 also config t do so run section route ok so let me remove this static route configuration from here say no to this and then we can configure EIGRP so let me configure EIGRP here IPv6 IPv6 router EIGRP yes number is let's say 100 and then we can configure EIGRP okay so IPv6 unicast routing is not enabled IPv6 unicast routing first we need to enable IPv6 unicast routing and then we can run this command IPv6 router EIGRP 100 then EIGRP router ID is let's say 1.1.1 one and after that we need to advertise tunnel interface in EIGRP so interface tunnel 1 and say here IPv6 EIGRP as number 100 fine in the same way on router number 2 also we will configure EIGRP router IPv6 unicast routing and then IPv6 router EIGRP as number 100 EIGRP router ID is 2.2.2 .2 let's say and then we will advertise tunnel interface into EIGRP interface tunnel 1 uh, and IPv6 EIGRP 100 soon EIGRP never will come up between router 1 and router 2 you can see on tunnel interface adjacency is up now we can advertise LAN network in EIGRP so that these router can exchange their routing table so on router number 1 go to interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and say ipv6 eigrp as yes, number 100 on router number 2 interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 ipv6 eigrp as yes, number 100 and now so ipv6 route so inside the routing table of router 2 we can see we have one prefix through eigrp on tunnel interface right and on router number 1 also so so ipv6 route so you can see we have received site 2 network through eigrp and again these two sites can communicate with each other ping 2001 colon db8 colon 20 double colon 1 and source is fast ethernet 0 slash 0 you can see ping is working so this is how we can configure IPv6 tunneling over IPv4 network. That's all for today guys. If you have learned something from this video, please hit on like button. If you have any question, any query, please let me know in comment section. We will meet soon in next video. Till then stay safe. Bye bye. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.